So howdy, and welcome back to the show. Uh, I have been putting together my Raspberry Pi 2 portable, finally. And I've got most of the bits and pieces that I need to, uh, to pull together to make this um, Raspberry Pi 2 portable. So I'll take you through what I've got uh, now, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go through with how it's all going to come together. All right, so obviously we've got the Raspberry Pi 2 um, I've got uh, a micro USB feeding power to it at the moment and I'm using HDMI out of the Raspberry Pi 2 to go into the display. Uh, this one's got a uh, 802.11n Wi-Fi adapter and a Bluetooth adapter talking to this little uh, eBay keyboard, little Bluetooth keyboard. The 7 inch LCD is also an eBay special, uh, around $59 delivered. Um, this one's got a breakout board on the side so you can uh, switch between the input devices, HDMI, VGA uh, and component, uh, as well as power off and on the display itself. Uh, these ones are kind of good because what I've found out is that this is actually happy being powered at 5 volts, same voltage requirement as the Raspberry Pi. So I don't need two separate power sources, um, which was a, a, a bit of a complication earlier on. So what I've actually ended up with is this um, Pololu, if that's how you pronounce them, uh, five volt um, step up voltage regulator, this one here. Now that is a terrific little voltage regulator because what it will actually do is take uh, anywhere from 3 volts through to 5 volts and give you a constant 5 volts out um, up to 4 amps. So if I've got half an amp to an amp draw coming from the Raspberry Pi, I've got another half an amp draw coming out over here, I've got possible peripherals and other things I would like to take into consideration, that will ensure that I have more than enough power going to these devices from whatever power source I give it, as long as it's three volts or more. Which brings me to my power. I have the two milliamp hour, um, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery uh, from the Mophie teardown. And I also have the little um, battery regulator slash charger from the Mophie teardown as well. And this is actually really, really good because it will take a micro USB input at 5 volts and it will properly charge the 3.7 volt lithium battery uh, in the right methodology. It has the proper ramp up technique, we've talked about uh, charging lithium ion batteries in the past. This one does it properly. So I'm going to put those two together, that will give me a charging circuit as well as battery power. The screen, the LCD, the keyboard, the Raspberry Pi 2 and when I want mains power, I've got a uh, 5 volt, 4 amp power brick. So the idea is that the power brick will connect to um, the portable device once it's assembled. 5 volts will come into the device charging the battery and powering the power regulator, which in turn powers the Raspberry Pi 2, the driver board and the LCD. So external power in, battery is cut off and is charged by the external power and the external power provides power to everything else. So this will not have a parasitic draw uh, on the battery whilst mains power is connected. Okay, so what I'm going to do now uh, is hook everything up as it appears just here and try and get the entire thing to run off the battery. Just check some of the voltages and um, yeah, go from there. Uh, it will look pretty confusing and pretty awful because of all of the uh, connecting wires, but we'll get it up and running first. And if the, everything is, is correct and the theories are right and the voltages are right and there's uh, not too much drop and all of that sort of stuff, then uh, yeah, we'll start thinking about putting it all in a case. All right, so I'm just going to hook up the battery to the uh, input on this Pololu uh, 5 volt regulator and just to make sure uh, I get uh, a nice clean 5 volts out. Okay, so these are my two outputs. 
Okay, so as you can see on the multimeter there, 4.98 volts constant output. So, good start. Okay, so that was really interesting. I had the screen and the Raspberry Pi hooked up at the same time and it would not function. I was getting a weird reading of about, um, whatever it was, 0.2 volts. Uh, obviously the battery was still supplying its 4.1, 4.2 volts, but it would not work. I've disconnected the screen and we have the um, Raspberry Pi powering up. I'll just try reapplying the screen. Okay, it has powered up. I'll have to do a bit more investigation as to um, what was going on there. Um, possibly too much draw, there might have been protection circuitry on this. Uh, maybe just a bad connection, but I'll um, do some trial and error and try it a few times before uh, I hook everything up permanently. But at this point in time, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi uh, is working and the driver board and the LCD are working all from this little 3.7 volt lithium battery. Um, this is quite a uh, highly rated, I think the peak on the little Pololu power regulator is actually 7 amps so it has got no issues at all providing enough power through as long as we're getting the amperage required out of the battery uh, supply uh, so we should be safe to getting close to 2 amps out of that uh, it'll only run for an hour but that's fine so 2 amps supply right through the entire circuitry without any issues so the principle of that works um, the uh, keyboard's hooked up. I don't know if you can actually see that on camera. It's uh, showing up on the 7-inch uh, LCD. And the LCD itself, the screen resolution's just um, uh, not quite perfect for the LCD. Uh, and I've got this set at 800 by 520 in the config file. Uh, and I'll put um, some more information to the config.txt file that you can edit to set up your screen properly. I'll put all of that in the description of the video. So that's probably all I'm going to be able to get to today. I'm out of time. So in principle, all this is going to run off a 3.7 volt battery and I'll um, hook something up for external power supply to be able to provide power through to the circuitry as well as power through to the little battery charging circuit. I'll work all of that out next week as I start working on the case. So like I said, that's all I've really got time for this week. I'll make this a two-parter. Um, I will get a case, start working on a case for all of this and try and stuff it all into some sort of clamshell case. I've decided on a clamshell design. Uh, and I will cover off on the rest of the wiring as well as the case assembly and all that in the uh, next version, next episode. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.